nice to finally meet you yes That's so, so what what is um the inspiration behind it i really believe in grooming uh, you you feel very different from the way you look if i wear like a suit and tie i feel very much different from when i'm wearing say like a hoodie but how did it evolve though your your vision and and inspiration it must have evolved over time uh yeah i think is that why you pivoted to stick out woman because i mean that's the brand that i bought from the uh exactly. the leggings right yes the can you can you talk about the stick out woman growing up i all i've always been a huge fan of uh cat woman and because it's a play on words sikat being you know sikat pop popular famous in tagalog and and i also um draw my inspirations from from my mom because she's always very elegant she uh she grooms herself i think that's where i get like the grooming aspect because i see her even when i was growing up she had like a, a table filled with um full of uh perfume bottles which i used to play with and then she was all, always going out to parties and she's always like well dressed. I think that's where I got the inspiration from. And then even until now, like she's always like very, very well groomed. You talk about that in your post and yes. it's like, I see that in your mom. Like it's completely, it is. And it's, you know what I mean? Something to look up to, which exactly. I should do that too. She's like, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I love that because I think it's um encouraging. I definitely want to encourage people and make people feel like the best versions of themselves if somebody's like being bullied at home then they take it out on other kids but if you're like empowered you want others to feel empowered as well so i think with uh yeah when starting with positivity you spread positivity well speaking of feeling empowered when mm -hmm. i wore um your uh your leggings that when you did yeah. that with my first they look really good on you by the way honestly it's the colors and the feel it does i know what you mean by it creates that vibe right yeah i have a, I have a big personality and those are the colors i love uh -huh. so when i wear it it's like boom <laughs> so yeah. i love it because it really reflects me and it's comfortable and so there's so many pieces to choose from but what i really like is one i love supporting fellow entrepreneurs because i know what it's like to start a business right uh -huh. and yes. it's online uh, it's, it, it gets shipped to you and secondly like it really reflects my personality uh -huh. and it's yes. comfortable so yeah. how has this platform that you have your business Kind of helped you and how did you manage it during this time when people are more closed in i think it's helped a lot because it's it's very uh, therapeutic on my part because i'm an artist so like when i'm designing like i'm in the zone i i forget everything i'm very inspired and then when i when i'm when i'm drawing and then i see the outcome i'm all, i even get more excited it's like oh i really like this and i can't wait for people to see this and I can't I even can't wait for people to uh, to wear this once it's made. I actually wanted to ask you, how do you manage that quality assurance evaluation from your end with using this platform? Um, I order them. So I order the the pieces for my design. I'm actually wearing one. Uh, this oh, okay. is a hood. It's uh well, it's this is a Chinese symbol for uh, prosperity. Oh, okay. For the okay. Chinese New Year, it's fa. And it's uh, it's shaped into a pineapple because in our dialect, in the Fujian dialect, pineapple, which is uh, Ong Lai, yeah, uh, it means um, means a uh, fortune, good okay. fortune. So prosperity, fortune. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's a really nice color, actually. I love oh, it. Oh, thank color. you. So it also speak, comes in red. Hmm? You speak Tagalog too, or no? Yeah, I speak Tagalog like fluently. Speak Tagalog and what other dialect is that? Uh, it's called Fujian. Fujian. It's, uh, oh. Southern Southern China. That's where oh. my, my grandfathers are from. As an entrepreneur, do you have top three things you would impart and want to share, like an advice or something? I think what I've learned personally, and also I had I had this mindset right in the beginning, is I don't want to run before I knew how to walk. And well, the second thing that I would I would um, tell someone is uh, who's starting is I would say keep it to a minimum. You know, I think right. less is more for right. me. Less is okay. more. Awesome. The third one is like, keep growing. There's always room for improvement. I'm curious, what was the most challenging thing you've gone through? Pinaka mahirap na pinagdaanan mo. Wow, I made that Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> so, pinaka mahirap na pinagdaanan. Let's see. Um, as an entrepreneur, huh? As an entrepreneur, I think 
lahat ng ginawa ko kasi is sariling gawa eh. It's not like I took somebody's work or I franchised something mm. and just sold it. I actually created all of these from scratch. So, mm. you know, it's something that's never been seen in the market. And since, siyempre, gawa mo, medyo mas, ano ka, mas sensitive. It's yeah. almost like, yeah, it's if somebody rejects the, the item, it's almost like it's rejecting you. Me. Yeah, yeah, you're making it a bit personal because it's so close to you, so your baby. Exactly. And you only want to get something if you know it's selling out fast. So that exactly. 